Hey everyone, Case here. Welcome back to The Simpsons Tapped Out. That's the time currently at the moment for me. If you can figure it out, that's fantastic. If you can't, look up 1529. Maybe you'll be able to figure it out what it is. Continuing on in the Epic Mystery Box. Hey. First of all, Mo. I mean, come on now, here. We gotta tap you. you get one donut because you're worth it. Not a lot remaining in this particular category. There is the Cartoon Mouse, Presidential Estate, and Santa's Little Helper Topiary. And if I get the Topiary, I will probably open it up again, unless it's uh, an amazing Topiary and does amazing things. But it probably won't. I got the Cartoon Mouse with the Cartoon Motel. Heads up! In terms of the character, I kind of remember them. They were in the 18th Galaxy episode, obviously. I'm just trying to remember which one. So that's where Bill hey, hey, from. Hey, you! Does anyone know who that is? First business, then hot tubbing. Mrs. Mouse. I don't know if they actually talked in the episode. Itchy and Scratchy Show. These are all different characters and NPCs that I am missing. I do remember these two, but I don't know how I never got them. I see you, Mrs. Mouse. But this is it. Right here. I like how we've got Scratchy and then no vacancy. Now that I see that, I think I know the episode. This is the glass blowing one. Where Itchy does the whole glass blowing with Scratchy and turns Scratchy into a no vacancy sign. And then that is where Mrs. Mouse pops up at the end. Sound-wise, it could either sound like Scratchy, or it could sound like a cartoon motel. Let's go with a cartoon sound. Changing Sheets Monthly. Yeah, cartoon, cartoon sound. Hello there, will you be checking into the cartoon motel? What? But this is a motel for cartoon characters. Correct. Would you like a room with a king-sized bed or two queens? Uh, do I look like a cartoon to you? I just... Well, as a matter of fact... Yes? You are a 2D drawing. I am a 3D real physical human being. You'd better guess that straight. Maybe I'll just work on the books for a bit. It's kind of like she's breaking the fourth wall, isn't she? She thinks Homer is a cartoon just like we would think that Homer is a cartoon. Mrs. Mouse tackle her finances. Which means... Oh, no, never mind. Or maybe... No, maybe she will be going to the motel. Let's do the first animation. What is that exactly? A typewriter? Yeah, it's a typewriter. Or oh, payroll thingy. I thought it was a weird toaster for a second, but now it's not a toaster. What could she possibly be doing? There's just like one person on staff and it's probably her. Either way, not a bad animation considering it's all made up on the spot. This didn't happen. I like the little pie that she had there. Mr. Mayor, I'm having trouble convincing Springfield to stay at my motel. Well, if you want to attract real people like us Springfielders, maybe don't build a cartoon motel. I really don't follow. It's very simple. How can a living, breathing person like me sleep in a 2D cartoon bed? We use a 2D cartoon ice machine. But, but... Look, I'll come by with one of my top era aides. Have a room set aside and we will, uh, do an inspection. Host mayoral meetings? We're going to use cartoon motel for meetings, but they're not going to fit in the bed. Not that they're going to probably use it. Ah, oh, not to miss it. I got the Bart screen as I send the two characters off. 
So clearly, I didn't get a chance to even think about what it would be, because when I went here, they were there already. But we got the motel sign flashing, we got the no vacancy sign flashing. I think I'm in heaven. We all know why by now. Hold that thought. Mr. Mayor, I've prepared the business lounge for your use. What? No, my aide and I need a room with a bed. A bedroom, I believe, is a term. What's the hold up, Joe? I thought we were going to... In a minute, dear. Look, Mouse, just give me a room. I'm not a cartoon, but I'll make it work. Boy, she really doesn't know what to say, does she? This is definitely one of the better animations I've personally seen in the game. We've also got the lights to turn on as well. It's like the perfect animation for a building. The people in this town don't know that they're cartoons. I mean, they are cartoons, right? Homer's eyes are just black dots inside circles. And if you look at him from the side, he disappears. That's a cartoon, right? Right? I must be losing my mind. I've got to make a change. Well, I do have a clinically insane building if you want to go to it. Mrs. Mouse contemplate new business. What's your business? Cookies? I'm hungry. Give me cookies. We'll see if there's going to be cookies. There's going to be something. Let's see what this business is going to be. Okay, no cookies. But I remember Itchy actually doing this. In one episode. Or oh, is it Scratchy? Maybe they both did it before. But I remember them, or one of them, doing exactly the same thing. Pulling on the string for the light bulb. Do we have a cartoon car in this game as well? Because I remember a little bit about the motel, and I remember there being a car in front of it. That car looks really familiar. Maybe it was released during the Itchy and Scratchy update? I mean, this probably was as well. I'm going to have to look around. Maybe I do have it. I just watched Homer eat 20 hamburgers and get hit by a garbage truck. Two minutes later, he's fine. Dude is definitely a cartoon. Just focus on work, Mrs. Mouse. That'll keep you sane. Good idea. You go do that. And I, well, I'm going to go back to this amazing animation. I got a chance to actually see it in action right now. Again. Happily humming as she cleans. This is a stick up talking mouse. Open up the cash register and. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't realize this was a cartoon establishment. My bad. Do you still want the money? Cartoon money? Uh, no. As a living, breathing person, I use real currency frosted pink donuts. That's my snake impression. It's like a really, really crummy version of it. If these people can't be proud of their cartoon nature, well, too bad for them. I accept it, and so unlike these Springfields, I have inner peace. It's a great feeling. Another great feeling is knowing I have a big cartoon bomb, and tomorrow I'm going to blow up this nutso town? Ah, inner peace. I have completely done a 180 on you, Mrs. Mouse. I'm not di I'm not liking the new you. Relax in hot tub. Excuse me, Mrs. Mouse. I'm here to do a health inspection on your kitchen. Oh, I don't cook in there. When I want food, I just take out my pencil and draw some. Chuckles. I get it, because of all cartoons. Really? So in the end, Wiggum knows for cartoons. And going back to that hot tub for a second, that's at the end of the Itchy and Scratchy episode. When Scratchy becomes a no bacon design, and then Itchy and Mrs. Mouse are in the hot tub, they're having fun and looking at the no bacon design. And that's why I thought in the beginning that the sound might be Scratchy. Because every time the sign blinks, he screams in pain. So there we go. That is a full walkthrough for Mrs. Mouse. I've said it many times in this video, but this is a fantastic animation. This makes it all worthwhile. Even if I just got this hotel, or motel, for 30 donuts, I would think it's worth it personally. But the fact I get this, 
and Mrs. Mouse for 30 donuts. Well, technically more than that, but it is technically 30 donuts, especially if you get it on the first try. I'm gonna have to look it up just to see if I actually have it or not. Or maybe it's not even in the game, I'm just losing it. But I could have sworn that we had a car like that in the game. Either way, that is it for Mrs. Mouse, and I'll see you soon with more Simpsons Tapped Out in the near future. So thank you everybody so much for watching, and I will see you on the next one. Bye bye everybody.